Hey guys, how you doing? This is Juan Oliver Graphic Design. Stay tuned right after the intro. We're gonna start printing some bags, okay? So, okay, so uh, you know how we, whenever we have small orders, like, you know, like somebody comes in here and buys six shirts or, you know, something like that, like very small orders, and we're always giving them like plastic bags. Well, I, me, I'm not a big fan of the plastic bags. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go green. I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna go green. And uh, I'm gonna be giving out this canvas bags. For those of you that have been to the ISS show, this is the same bags that Bastix, that's what they use, that's what they give away. But, um, but yeah, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be printing my logo on it and uh, with a couple of, you know, just a little bit of information on it. If you're wondering what kind of ink I'm using, I'm gonna use water base. And for this, for this, I'm gonna use a sample that I got from, um, from Cat Spit. Uh, let me see if you can see it right there. Cat Spit Productions. Jonathan, I saw I got this in uh, uh, the ISS Long Beach. That's what I'm gonna be using. Uh, so if you want to print something like this, like bags, like what you're gonna be see me see me doing right now, you want to use water base. You can use plastisol, but water base just gives it a a softer feel. Uh, and it, I don't know, to me it just looks better. So let me point this camera down so you can see. Again, this is water base, black ink. Uh, it's gonna go by really fast so yeah let me point this camera down so you can see what I'm what I'm doing just like that that way whenever you hand this out if you guys are thinking about you know doing this for your customers the reason why I'm doing this is because if I'm gonna hand this out and hopefully they will take this to the grocery store and it'll be an uh, advertisement for you so or for your company. So that's the reason why we're doing it. Just so you know, whenever you put your bags, little trick right here, just, just this is just so you know, okay? On the t-shirts, our print is upside down on the palette. When you're doing the bags, since the bags, the top of the bag is up here, your image is gonna read right on the screen. Let me see if I can zoom it so you can see it. So you see that on my screen, I'm actually reading it right because normally the image is upside down for t-shirts. It's a 180 degree. So on this one, you're gonna have to make sure that your image is up, it's, you're reading it right. Um, so it prints right on the uh, on the bags, just like so. I don't know how many I'm printing. I think I think it was 60, but honestly, I cannot remember. Okay, so I know there's gonna be some of you that are gonna that are gonna comment. You're supposed to flood on water base. Yeah. Yes, you're right, but since I'm doing this so fast, you no, know, I'm really not giving it time to to dry on the screen. And also, you can also use you can also use this, the same ink. To, to, uh, to print on cardboard. So if you have some cardboard boxes, if you have some cardboard boxes, you can also print them. And let me show you real quick. And I'm gonna do this one just for a demonstration. It might not, might not be right on the money. It's like that. So if you wanna print your own boxes, you can do it with water base. Um, just like so. So this is a cardboard box, and you can run this through the uh, dryer, th through the uh, conveyor dryer. Uh, you just have to do it a little faster because you actually it won't burn, but it'll curl up. The cardboard box will curl up, but it, it'll come back to its uh, normal, normal shape. If you don't have, 
or if you don't want to run it through the conveyor you can just leave it on the um just let it dry so but that's how you will print your cardboard boxes okay so very simple so let me let me go ahead and print this back and so i come back to show you the other side because i'm going to print both sides i'll probably just do just one side okay so there you go guys you know this is a really cool way to advertise your your company you know by handing out a a bag like this hopefully they will take it to the grocery stores if you live in areas that the people don't hand out or cut uh, uh, um, grocery stores don't hand out plastic bags or bags for that matter like for example austin texas they don't they don't use any bags you have to buy your own bag um hopefully this this bag will end up in somebody's um hand that, that's gonna need a bag like that and also if you use if you use boxes you know that's another way of uh, branding your your boxes that way when you hand out the um your shirts or whatever it is that you guys are selling to your customers you can put it in a box you know just like that and they'll have your information just make sure that whenever you do something like this to add all the information that like how are they going to contact you for example my phone number there's going to be uh the, the things that you do for example if you notice this one it's gonna say I do screen printing, embroidery, banners, and signs. And also, if you have a website, go ahead and add it there. And uh, your email. That way, you know, somebody sees that on the grocery store or any store, they can uh, hopefully call you, you know. So this is gonna be a very cheap way to advertise your, your company. Just so you know, this, ba this bag uh, is costing me about a dollar and 25 cents. So, uh, for those some of you it's gonna be kind of expensive you gonna think it's, it's a little expensive it is a little expensive versus a bag a plastic bag that's gonna cost you I don't know three four cents so yeah it is expensive but you're advertising yourself so again I, I, I want to go green I don't want to be handing out more plastic bags and uh, this is gonna be my solution to that so guys thank you for watching you know i hope you like this video make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up and ding the bell so you're notified when i upload new videos also make sure you share this video you know share it with all of your friends um and if you like the video if you like this process if you if you like what you saw go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have any questions as to what kind of ink what kind of uh, uh screens uh to use uh just just give me a or put a, a post on the comments below and i will tell you just so you know, I'm using a 195 for this one um, for water base, for black water base. So thank you guys, and I will catch you on the next one. <laughs> See you later.